Hey everyone, so in today's video, I'm going to be reviewing the Ritual Defeat Ash and Ember Eye Soots. Half Light it is what I'm wearing on my eyes today, and this is actually a part of a series on my channel, as a lot of you already know, called One Week of Cream Eyeshadows, where I review a new cream eyeshadow on my channel every single day for an entire week. But today's video is about the Ritual Defeat Ash and Ember Eye Soots. This formula, to me, is really unlike any other formula that I've tried it is something between a cream and a powder. It's really really lovely So I hope that this review is helpful for you guys and of course I hope that you will subscribe the ritual defeat Ash and Ember Eye Soots retail for $38 and you get 0.2 ounces in here. I always like to talk about price per ounce and though this is more expensive, you do get a decent amount of product. So 0.2 ounces is actually a lot more product than some especially stick products, stick eyeshadows. Though it is expensive, they are giving you a little bit more product. These come in 13 shades that I saw on their website and again, I have the shade Half Life on my eyes today. They also make Celestial Eye Soots. I I believe but those are more sparkly products that one is a different formula than this one so ritual defeat says that this is a magical concoction of intense smoldering everlasting color with a rich texture between a powder and a cream and i definitely think that that is the case product is made with pure pigments and oils does not contain any waxes, so it will never melt with the warmth of your skin, making ash and ember eyes so it's highly resistant to creasing and fading. We'll definitely talk about that later. Let's first very quickly talk about the packaging. Um, it is very, very pretty. I really like the top of it. I like their logo as well. It definitely gives you a more magical feel. You know, it almost looks like a little crystal. I think the packaging is very pretty. Um, one thing to keep in mind though, is that the opening to the top is actually quite small and that does make it difficult if you did want to apply this with your fingers, it makes it difficult to fit your finger in. I actually don't apply this product with my fingers, but it is something to keep in mind. If you do strictly just use your fingers, um, this might not be the most easy product to work with. Let's talk about this formula because I do think it's kind of the highlight of this product, the formula to me, as they do describe it, is something very unique. So when you feel it on your fingers, um, it does give you a little bit more of like that creamy texture, but it applies more so to me like a powder with a little bit of a richness to it. To me, this formula is super interesting because when you think of something between a powder and a cream, you might think of like a really rich and emollient powder product, but this isn't that. When you're expecting something with emollients, you're expecting something with more richness, and this is very, very thin. It still almost gives the appearance of a cream once it's blended on the eyes, and I kind of think of this product if you're used to a lot of lip products with a more blotted look. I feel like this is kind of like a blotted eyeshadow effect it, because it has that really thin texture to it. It really washes over the eyes in a really pretty way. And one thing that I really like about the thinness of this product is that if you tend to stay away from eyeshadows like I did for so so long because you have dry lids, this is not going to make your lids look dry. And I do think that with some eyeshadows you can see the texture of your skin so much more when you apply it. And that's why I do lean more towards cream eyeshadows because I think they look more natural on the skin. This is really great because the texture of it is so thin, but it has those pigments and the oils that they're talking about that give it color and dimension without it looking creepy and without it being thicker the way a cream might be. Let's jump into the demo so you can actually see how it applies to my eyes. So like I mentioned before, I have the shade Half Life. It's a really pretty taupey brown and I think that this is kind of maybe the best like single eyeshadow color that I've found in a while. I love the shade. It is so flattering on the eyes and it works perfectly as a one shadow look. Like I don't feel the need to wear anything else with this. I think it looks so good on its own. 
I use a brush, as you can see, I just dip it into the pot, apply it onto my eyes, and I love the way that this blends. I actually think that with a brush, this blend is absolutely effortless. I do think if you used your fingers, I don't think it would apply in the same way. I love the way that it applies with a brush, and you can really apply it with a brush kind of haphazardly. I barely used my mirror in this demo, and I feel like it gave me such a pretty look. I'm really interested in seeing the other shades that they have come out with because this shade to me is so unique, it's unique but familiar, and that is what I find I go back to. Let's talk about the way that this product wears. So we've talked about the texture and that thinness that I really enjoy about it. And I think that this might be one of the best long wearing eyeshadows that I've used. It really does not want to crease on you. If I have any creasing, it's because of the concealer that I wear under it. I have actually used this to kind of set my concealer on my eyes before and had like zero creasing for eight hours. The sootiness of this product, I think, is really accurate. It does have like the texture of soot from a fireplace, but the, but the oil's in the product give it that really creamy finish and i think that combination you're able to get the look of a cream but the longevity of a really awesomely formulated pigment overall like the only complaint i have about this product is the opening and how small it is i would like it to be a little bit bigger and the fact that this is pretty expensive this is definitely an expensive product when a formula is like this for me it's worth the money it's i have reviewed other luxury products before and with luxury it has to give you a little bit more and when a formula is really unique i will shell out more money especially you know 38 dollars for a single shadow is a lot of money and i am already thinking about other shades that i want to add to my collection it gets me really excited to wear eyeshadow and cream eyeshadow so that is really all I can ask for. The texture, the color, the way it applies, the way it wears, all of it through and through, this is one of the best that I've tried. I'm so excited that you all recommended me trying this out and were curious about it because it's so, so good. I'm really, really excited about it, obviously. If you guys have tried other shades of this, uh, leave me a comment down below and let me know what your favorite shades are because I feel like I'm going to ask for one uh, for Christmas. And I hope that this review was definitely helpful for you all. And if it was, definitely make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Of course, stay tuned for the rest of one week of cream eyeshadow. Make sure you're subscribed and I will see you in my next one.